this is your jet, your fuel, I'm your pilot for the day, so we'll do whatever you want. You know, if you want to do more Gs for a longer period of time, um, I should be able to handle that. And if you want to do aileron rolls, we can do 27 aileron rolls if you want. I get a little sick for sure those, but we'll do as many as you want, all right? <laughs> I think as a kid, I always wanted to be a, either a racing driver or a fighter jet pilot. And, you know, obviously I went the racing route, and I feel yeah. like I have the best job in the world, but this is the other side of it, you know. Definitely look up to yeah. what you guys do, and just, just want to experience it. I mean, we'll see how, how, how it goes as it does, but, you know, just give me the whole well, gamut. Uh, yep, whatever you want. Um, if they give us the unrestricted climb, I'll say here come the G's and we'll do a quick onset to, it'll only be about a 6G pull to the vertical and then uh, we'll climb up to whatever altitude they can give us. Sir, you have a fantastic flight, and I'll catch you on the comp. Thank you, appreciate it. Sir? Thanks for your service. All right, man, I think we're ready to go. I'll have you put your helmet on, throw your chin strap on, and then uh, we'll be able to rock and roll. All right, sounds good.
unbelievable. How was it? So cool. Outstanding. I did not want to come home. <laughs> here, put the helmet back on the road, please. Over here. Yep. This way. Yes, sir. Where'd you get there? 9.5? 9.7. 9.7, even yeah. better. Ryan, thanks for coming out and uh, being a part of the Thunderbird experience. Thank like you. I said, it's more than just me. Um, we uh, represent the Air Force Guard Reserve and the military. Uh, we got 22,000 people that are serving, and then uh, every week we're on the road doing stuff like this so that we can represent those guys and uh, hopefully um, uh, light a spark with the, the public that's out there watching. And with you bringing out your crew, I uh, really appreciate that and uh, being able to tell this story. Um, these are the, uh, the brave men and women that uh, helped me get in that jet a jet that I trust because of the work and effort that they do to include our public affairs. They, they keep me from looking stupid most of the time. So, uh, no, we really appreciate you coming out and uh, being a part of this experience. Um, now for the bad news. We went out and we pulled 9.7 Gs, so that's going to probably cost, you heard that, probably cost me a case of beer with these guys. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> And uh, Fido might not get his ride. So I got you. We'll get it figured out. But that's the most G's that I pulled. So congratulations. Awesome. And you handled it like a champ. Thank you. Um, I'm sure it was a maintenance fault, though. It wasn't. It's not the yeah, pilot's absolutely. fault. Absolutely. So, I want to um, thank you all for your service, though. This is unbelievable. What you do and, and these amazing aircraft that you prepare. It's, it's blowing me away. I've been around motorsports my whole life. Do 240 miles an hour right next to a wall. And this is, this is mind-blowing. So I want to thank you for the opportunity. It was an honor. And, and most of all, I want to thank you for your service. On behalf of the Thunderbirds, hopefully you can find some place nice to hang this. Oh, That's us it. flying over Lake Michigan. Absolutely. All right, it's my best while. Ryan did an amazing job. It's nice to fly a guy from IndyCar that knows about aerodynamics and lift and you know as soon as you start manipulating that you have to do something to offset that. So for instance once we're repositioning on the line a lot of times we'll use the vertical turning room if we have it to where we pull our noses up to create a tighter turn circle and that's no different than a guy being on the Indy track being on the outside of a turn cutting down to the inside of the turn while dealing with those g-forces. Now I think he said he pulls around five and a half g's and today he got to see what nine g sustained turn feels like and it's not so much on the right shoulder, it's more in the vertical because that's how you position the jet when you pull the G's. Racing, you, you get used to it over years, right? And you, I'm sure if I just jumped an Indy car, went into turn one at Indy at 230 miles an hour, that would probably be right there as well, and it is, but this was just amazing. I've, since I was a kid, I wanted to be a fighter jet pilot or race cars, and my dream came true, racing cars, and. This today just was, it's like a whole nother world um, had opened up for me and to experience what these guys do and, and what these men and women do on a daily basis to, to prepare these planes and, and then to get it, your rear end in the seat and, and pull those, those G's and you know do the cloud surfing as they were doing and it was just, uh, this is something I will absolutely never forget and it was one of the best experiences I've ever been through. I did feel somewhat at home in the, in, in the cockpit. It's tight space, dealing with G-forces, you're going fast, and you're always, it, like us, these guys are picking up reference points, and, and they're almost apexing turns, you know? It's all about geometry. They, they think about where their corners are going, how they're gonna apex certain areas, where they need to climb to to get the right speed and, and, and pull out in the right angles, and it's, uh, it's, it's, so, it's so intriguing to know every little bit of it and, and to just get a taste of it um, I'm, I just I want to do it more uh, but I've got a really cool day job I can't complain and um, you know I just want to thank the Thunderbirds and, and everyone involved this has been an amazing opportunity uh, one, one I'll certainly never forget and I want to thank them for their service five minutes into it I was already thinking about I really don't want this to end I was almost dreading the end coming because it was so much fun um, at times we were you know, they'll have to tell you how many pounds of, of fuel we were burning per hour. The numbers were astronomical. We broke uh, the speed of sound. We did Mach 1, um, did a 9.7 G turn and, and, and other really high G turns and checked a lot of boxes off the, the bucket list today, that's for sure.